Libra, this is all about you. Libra, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Libra, sun, moon, or rising sign, or wherever Libra influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. So this is your week ahead reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Please click subscribe and ring that bell. The both, button, both buttons are below. Uh, help the channel grow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is for Libra. Also, there's an extended video. If you so choose, it's down in the description box beneath this video. Um, click on it and the link will take you over. That is a full tarot card spread and romance reading. The energy, sorry, I disappeared right there. The energy crowning your reading. Freedom. Oh, freedom, oh, freedom, oh, freedom, freedom is coming, oh, yes, I know. Listen, it's long awaited, long awaited, long awaited freedom. This feeling this week of being lifted, a weight being lifted, a burden being lifted, an obligation being lifted, um, running out of any kind of closet or enclosure that you were trapped behind, whether that had been men mental or physical, I don't know what you guys are up to, but there's a sense of finally being liberated. Um, back to yourself, a, a sense of beauty. And um, I think this um, wildest, wild, wildness of spirit, unbridled, do you see? No bridle on this horsey right here. So it's an openness. It's a calmness too. It's a calmness in your sort of liberated momentum, your liberated wildness. The wildness isn't about being crazy and it's not about being um, out of your, yeah. It's not about being um, violent. It's about exhaling finally for the first time in a long time and feeling like there are no chains there are there are no blockages to who you are who you want to be or or where you're going but it does seem to me that there is a lack of direction there isn't a sense of where you're going it's just that now you can go anywhere you'd like mm, that's real freedom it's also three three um an angel number of the Holy Trinity. So blessings are yours. This is being liberated as if by the divine, but it also adds up to six. So this could very well be, which is always to me, the lovers, the lovers number, because it's um, in the original Rider White deck. Um, six is the lovers of the major arcana. And so for me, this is being liberated from a love affair that was not serving you. And that's been actually a common thread in your reading. It's been common theme, I should say, in your reading, in your readings of the past at least three weeks. So this seems to be that you've left whatever was burdening you behind. Um, and now, well, in a way, you're enjoying not being defined, not knowing where you are or where you're going to go, not making plans. My naughty puppy. Not having to make plans, not having to make obligations, not having any obligations whatsoever. And maybe, honestly, Libra, there's a mentality for the next week of you being really, really happy that you can get lost. Wherever you are, you don't have to know your direction. You don't have to choose it. So this is really the ultimate state of freedom because there are no obligations. Let's look at what other cards fell out. Energies that I can't ignore. All three energies of resurrection, a new life, a new start, a new beginning. Um, somehow transcending your old way of being and becoming something completely and totally new. Transformation is beautiful. A rebirth is assured and truth transcends illusion. You had to talk about something. You had to go over and review something with somebody that was extremely important to you. 
This is um, this is having the courage, and I think that that that's probably why you feel so unbridled and liberated is because it actually came from you. The constraints came from you. They came from you fearing or worrying, being concerned with how people would react or what people would think of you or what you would think of yourself even somehow there's a lot of double numbers here there's 30 33 11 and 22 and then there is five a rebirth is assured this is destined to rebirth this was a, a necessary change and it's also now you're back out in front of it it's been released it's been relinquished it's been let go it's been offered up into the ether or into reality it's become a truth so in other words it's come into truth it's something that you have made into being bought into being somehow disgusted i feel like there is transformation is beautiful um truth transcends illusion and a rebirth is assured um sort of an exorcism of sorts of or any demon that had settled inside and was wreaking havoc by you just trying to hold on to it and not let it go um there is a sense of finally being free you had some sort of secret some sort of burden that was on your heart that you were keeping to yourself and finally you let it out there was like i said it's probably some sort of discussion that was happening or needed to happen and did happen and the wonderful thing about that discussion is it really put the demons of the past behind. It really put those skeletons in the closet. It, it, it released them. It, it brought them into light so that you could finally move on and move forward. And you didn't have to be haunted by them. Do you see the haunting of this little lizard? The lizard that just wants to go forward. He just wants to move on and, and think of the future. But, but he's held back somehow by the past, by those obligations of the past. And this is no more. So this is an energy of real and true liberation. Um, now, what could it be actually in the 3D? Many different things. This could have been just a conversation, something you had to get off your chest with a boss, a manager, or somebody, somebody that you love. Um, this could have been uh, anywhere from having a conversation with your husband and wife uh, about um, things that you needed to review or go over, uh, some, something that you had been holding on your chest for a long time, something that concerns you, and something that you felt would destroy the relationship. Or um, maybe you wanted to be out of the relationship. Um, maybe this is about deciding to move on and get a divorce and finally feeling that freedom and really being beginning a brand new life because it is removed and very different from the life that you were living when you were married. When you go from divorced to, to when you go from married to divorced and now you're single again, this is like, this is like a restart or a, a true transformation. But I think that this also could mean that even if it wasn't like a divorce or, or you leaving a job, though it could have been, like I said, this is a general reading. So it could have been one of those many things. There is a sense of, um, you might in some way, because of what you bought up or the points that you bought up, things that you pointed out that you've been holding on your chest, it's almost like you were the key. And whatever you were holding on your chest was what opened up. It could be Pandora's box, but at the same time, that changed the world as well, right? So you literally, with the truth that you unfurled, changed your life changed the people around you it wasn't just a change it was something that came from inside of you that changed you and that ricocheted and that changed other people around you so this could be at work this could be at home whatever it is libra your life is never going to be the same if you were on platforms that allow for commercials i'm gonna stick one in here um i'll be back in about 30 seconds i appreciate your patience so thank you for sitting through that commercial. That is actually a donation to the channel. I just want to say thank you for that. Um, yeah, this is, this is true. And you know what? Whatever has happened and whatever has come of this, you're happy. You're, you're free. This is, this is like throwing away your millions just so that you can live your own life kind of freedom. That's the kind of freedom I mean. It's like this wouldn't have been an easy thing to let go of, but ultimately it became something that was inevitable. It had to be let go of. It was either sort of let go of it or drown, die, like sink or swim. In other words, if I hold on to this, it's like holding on to one of those big like um um like mason mallets, those those things that people make, those big 
metal iron blocks. You, you've seen them, right? They're shaped like this, kind of, right? And it's almost like you were holding on to one of those and still trying to swim. So it was making your life very difficult. And even if it was made out of gold and not iron, you had to think, am I going to drown with this thing? Or am I gonna let it go and be able to live and live my life? And this is it. It was a hard choice because it was made of gold, but you let it go. And the freedom that you feel, is like, it's like you've never felt the world move this fast before because you've never been this unbridled or untethered before. This is you bringing out the past so you can heal it and let it go. This is also you, spider spirit, make your dreams real. So this had to do with maybe a conflict that has been happening and building inside of you for quite some time, Libra. A sense of um, you never really being who you truly were and finally deciding what well, I'm going to be now. This starts a whole new time for me in a whole new day. This is a decision that I had to make. And as crazy as it sounds to everybody else, this is me. This is me out loud, living out loud. And now it, this is a start, in other words. This freedom, this liberation that you feel, Libra, is just the beginning. Your first knots sewed to start the rest of the web because you're weaving a whole new fabric for your life. You're weaving a whole new dream. You're taking what is just inside your head and you're manifesting it outside of yourself with your skill and your courage and your ability, but it's coming just like spider web. It comes right out of you. It's coming right from you. So this could very well be you writing, you writing a sports book, you're writing a story, you're writing a screenplay. It could very well be um, you drawing or you painting or you writing a business plan, some sort of business model. It's, it's that kind of, I've thrown off my old mantle and now I'm, I'm, I'm just starting to sew the fabric that, uh, for my new mantle. This is going to take a while. This is just the beginning. But you've never felt so in harmony with your truth before. And I think that's, really what changes your life here. Um, here we have written reverse, uh, know your worth. So there is a compromised sense of self. There is a shakiness. There is also, um, there is also, stop, you, you're not hiding anymore. You're not hiding behind the flowers. You're a full skunk. You're like, if people don't like me the way I am, if people don't like me when I stink, then they're not gonna like me at all and I just can't have them in my life anymore. Maybe you did sort of liberate yourself from a group of friends or a group of colleagues that, that were not serving you, you, your authentic self, um, simply because you weren't being your authentic self. You were, you, for other people's convenience, it's not even like anything is wrong with skunk. But for other people's convenience, for other people to feel comfortable around you, you were, you were dressing, you were like a skunk that dressed up in flowers so that people wouldn't be afraid of your stink. Well, they don't have to be afraid of your stink if they don't piss you off, do they? And there you go. Um, be loyal to what you love. And that was this, the mentality, wasn't it? Of if, and this is, this is um, disloyalty or breaking away from your obligations. And that's what it is, right? You deciding to make life easy for somebody else by compromising everything that you are. And now you've decided, nope, my loyalty is not to you, my loyalty is to me. And so, deal with it. That That's sort of the mentality. Because that means that you're free. You weren't being authentic. You were being what other people wanted you to be or what you needed to be in order to fit in and keep things at status quo. And status quo became a cage for you. Like I said, holding on to that big hunk of gold. It may have been a golden cages, but you know, gilding, gilded cages are the easiest. No, gilded cages are the most difficult to escape because everything seems so pretty and shiny when you're inside and it's hard for you to realize what's wrong. Why do I feel like the world is caging me in? Because you're living inside a cage. It might be a pretty shiny cage, but you're living inside of a cage and you're doing it. This is a cage, like I said, in the very beginning of the reading, it's a cage that you made for yourself 
with a sense of loyalty and obligation that you sowed or you choked yourself with. And now, even though you may feel like you're being disloyal to people, you're really not. This is loyalty to oneself. This is loyalty to um, your, your own sense of purpose and breaking away from sort of any kind of negative sense of loyalty. Um, that codependency or... Um, yeah, or addiction or anything like that, that would, that would keep you obligated to stay with a group of people that were actually either blatantly harming you or just being a part of them was harming everything that you are. Libra, this is a huge week for you. Surrender now. So this is, um, rebirth by burning. This is the burning clarifies everything. This means that the moth flew into the flame and then now that's over. So there's no need to surrender anymore. This is take charge. This is make decisions and uh, chart a new course with your life. Now with your newfound freedom. Mm. And then time to heal. Isn't this what this is really all about? This mentality this week of being okay with this. And being okay with other people not being okay with this. In other words, saying it out loud, owning it, um, you know, being self-assured in the presence of its truth, of its, of, of its reality. No, I don't work there anymore. Oh, no, we're not a couple anymore. Yes, we are getting a divorce. Um, no, I really don't like the way that you think or agree with what you're saying right now. That could be to a mother, brother, sister, best friend. All of those things, it's like, no, no, this is, this is not what I really feel because I was saying that I felt this way so that you would be comfortable around me, but now I don't, I don't care if you're comfortable around me or not. This is the real me. You may not be comfortable, but I am so much more comfortable in this skin because it's my skin. It's not the leather that I tied myself in to fit in. So this week really is about healing for you, ultimately about healing for you, Libra, and about literally, basically, in other words, the storm settling down. Like I think that you ripped through and surprised a lot of people with this news or with this coming out, this revelation, this truth. And, and I think it, it took a little while for the storm to die down. People are just coming out of this. This is not just you healing. I think you have healed. This is other people, the people around you now finally starting to settle in and be able to heal and accept, either accept this new you or let you go. Uh, let me turn the camera around real quick. Hold on. All right. So in review, here we go. Liberation, freedom, untethered, wild, and not having any specific direction and not really caring. Just enjoying the wind in your hair. Here you are up front. This is your crowning energy. This is your grounding energy. Um, having a new direction and 55, I told you, 33, 22, 11, 11, 55. We have all multiples on this, on this table. This is really an angel reading. So this was divinely pushed and guided and you were helped through this. This is something that you will never be alone in. This is being surrounded and guided. Five, five, five all across the board, complete change, change, you're healing now from the change. This has already happened. This is something that you're settling into, not accepting, but just settling into. And I think the people that were reeling from this upstart, this, um, from this revelation, from, from this change that you made, um, the people are now succumbing, sort of succumbing to what this new reality looks like and starting to make, either make amends, you may not be making amends with people, but just uh, reconciling, reconciling somehow with somebody that uh, maybe was thrown for a loop with this. Um, and then everybody sort of being able to be okay with it and starting to settle with it. So even though, like, let's say in the, one of the most extreme situations, you came to your spouse and said, it's time for us to get a divorce. This is the mentality of them actually finally waking up and saying, you know what, it's okay with me. You're right, we really did need to do this. It's, it's been wrong for a long time. Uh, now that may not be your case. You may be in a long-term happy marriage, which is awesome. Then this would be something else. This would be, we really did need to sell this house. 
You know what I'm saying? And, and finally, your spouse or whatever, I don't know, whatever, whoever you're working with saying, no, you're right. And even though I'm going to miss it here, I'm ready. So that's this week. This week is that sort of reconciliation, that healing, that coming to grips for everybody. Now, in the future, how everybody is going to react and what's going to happen, an extended version, um, that link is below. I'm going to do a full tarot card spread. And Libra, I'm also going to do your romance reading. I will see you over there.